Electronic monitoring is a device that the offender carries on their waist or in their pocket. It reports to a satellite and the, their probation officer can see at any time of the day or night where they are. Um, it does pinpoint to within three feet of where they are. All sex offenders has to go report to the sex offender registry and uh, tells the sheriff's department uh, where they live, where they work, uh, what car they're driving, what email address they have, and if they're going to school, what school they're going to. And they have to do that a minimum of twice a year, every single year. Anybody that lives in the community can go to the Sheriff's Department website and see uh, who's living next door to them. They also have applications on cell phones now, and people have it. It's called Offender Locator right here. And if you press on it, it will ask you, use current location, and then it searches, and there you go. It brings up anybody within a radius of where we're currently at, and it reports their names. It gives their picture. It shows any aliases. It gives their current address. It gives their crime, what crime they committed, the date of the crime, gender, date of birth, height, weight, hair color, and eye color. I was arrested in one of those internet stings. I replied to a Craigslist ad for sex for a 30-year-old woman. 30? 30 was the age on the ad. And you uh, were 22 at the time? Yes. I, uh, I had responded to several ads that night. That was the only one that replied back to me. Uh, we started talking. She said she wanted to include her 14-year-old daughter. Um, you mean kept... bring her along or? Oh, how... I was going to their place. So like she wanted me to have sex with the daughter and I was saying stuff, what I would like to do with the mother. And she, they keep pushing. And it's, in hindsight, it's so obvious, their tactics are so childish, but I was caught up in it. All that shows up in the police report is the one thing she got me to say about the daughter. She pressured me into saying that, and I still showed up. And uh, this thing got arrested. You know, you're very smart. you are got a master's degree. So this is about kind of an emotional immaturity, yes. that you got suckered into something. Do you look at it as like an addiction piece, or? I would just kind of look for attention with, I'd just talk to people online, usually just chit chatty stuff, talk about food, just attention. And uh, that night I wanted attention. And